How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. It's fine. I got here. Yeah. Well, congratulations on their, all your success Thank you. um, for your movie. Um, how do you think it'll translate to a smaller screen? Um, how, what will translate? The, the, like, the movie? Yeah. Um, or at least the character. Um, sorry, I don't understand the question. How yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just being in the same universe. Yeah, just being yeah. in the yeah. same universe. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. but yeah, so the show is something else. Yeah. Yeah. Else. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think they, that they won't translate yeah, exactly. either way. Literally. So, but, um, um, yeah, the show is, uh, uh, it's a completely separate thing than the movie, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a TV show, it's a miniseries, so it's, uh, meant to be consumed, you know, uh, I don't know, an hour, to, an hour times ten, and uh, it's sort of, uh, I, I love that format, you know, that it's almost like, reading a novel, right, it's like you can really immerse yourself into this sort of slow, slow build, um, of the story, and, uh, um, yeah, this show is, you know, ten episodes, and it'll have a beginning, and a middle, and an end, so. So you've done now a lot of genre work. You did Hemlock Grove, and now you're doing Castle Rock, so and there's also, of course, Pennywise. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find that you enjoy that work a lot, and you, that you can explore characters in a different way than in normal, non, like, genre sci-fi fantasy work, or um, are you drawn to those in particular, or is it just kind of something that's happening? It's sort of just happened. I guess I've just been, I've been cast, you know, I've gotten to these jobs. Uh, it's, it hasn't been that I've actively pursued just genre uh, based shows or films. It's just that I happen to be looking at these things. I don't know why exactly that is, but I guess my sort of talents or you know, looks or face or whatever sort of lends itself pretty well to genre. Um, and, um, and I love darker sort of mysterious stories. I've always have, so um, I'm really having fun with it, you know? And um, they're all very, very different challenges and different characters. Uh, that's ultimately what's most important for me is to not do the same thing over and over again. So even though they're similar in tone and genre, this, I mean, this character is the complete, complete opposite to what Pennywise was. Actually, speaking of that, can you tell us a little bit about your character? <laughs> Basically, no. <laughs> um, my, my character, so, the Shawshank Penitentiary is a setting in the show. It's um, sort of the infamous um, jail and uh, prison, and my character is a prisoner there. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. Um, and um, um, but I'll tell you that I'm, I'm I'm really enjoying the character. I'm having fun with it. And, um, you know, we're halfway through the show now, and um, I'm not exactly sure. How it's gonna end, but um, uh, but I'm, I'm I'm having fun working, and uh, I think the show can be I think the really I think the show can, can really work. I think it's, uh, um, it's hitting all these right notes in terms of uh, Stephen King and the and the theme of this sort of dark mystery. Um, all, at times almost absurd, which is, I think, true to uh, sort of the way Stephen King writes as well. Um, and the character is, um, is real, re really fun. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to it coming out and showing you all. Have you been given kind of the creative freedom to make your own choices without giving away too much for your character, or...? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, like you, as an actor, you're entrusted with uh, embodying a role and then you make it your own. And um, the character's fun. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, choices to be made. Uh, so he's not like uh, it's very different than me. So there's a sort of a transformative character in that sense that it's. Uh, uh, there's a, there's a lot of choices to be made, explored, so, um, which I always think is fun. I mean, I love, Pennywise is obviously one of those characters, but I love doing roles where you, you can sort of transform yourself and do it. Uh, sort of the 
these bizarre characters that you try to figure out and you come up with the body language and the physicality and the voice and everything. And, and, uh, like it's, it's really fun, you know. But that being said, I mean, I don't know. How, like this show is sort of also, uh, I guess, a little bit of themes of that as well. And the next thing I will do it might be a, something much closer to me, you know, like a, I don't know, like a rom com or something. <laughs> Is that what you feel closest to? Is that? Well, I'm just saying that usually those type of roles are very subtle. Like you sort of sound and act like yourself. Um, this role, I am not. You know, it's, it's, it's also one of those roles that are very different than who I really am. Um, but then there's those roles where the character is much closer to who you are for whatever that reason is. And usually if the role is sort of, oh, it's a young guy, falls in love or whatever, it's like, you, you might not go and change your voice that, all that much or the physicality. So it, it all depends. Do you find that physical transformation really challenging or like emotionally what's more challenging for you? Um, when you have to go to these dark places. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, there, there, there are different types of challenges. I think Physicality is something that you work on before, and then you sort of, it's, it's supposed to be second nature when you're doing it. Like, you, you figured out a, a way of movement, and then when you're doing it, you shouldn't really think about it. Um, and then the emotional thing is something that you do on the day. Um, you can't really prepare for emotion in the same way. Um, like, not in advance, at least. So you need to, uh, or at least for me, I need to um, to get into that place for that scene and find whatever that is and come in, like find that energy and then once you start rolling um, you need to sort of be there and unleash it yeah. and there's different ways to, to achieve that and sometimes it's harder days than others and sometimes it's really easy and it's hard to control it's sort of just a chemical thing that happens in your body I mean, is there something in Stephen King's work now that you've done more than one property, his sense of humor, the way he looks at the world, the way he writes characters, is there something in particular that you respond to? I think, uh, I mean, I, I love him. Like, like his, he has sort of this just very absurd, almost like... Um, his themes are, 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 are scary and bizarre at the same time, um, which uh, which I it's just a testament to his creativity, his stories and worlds that are like completely original, and, like you know, where the, all these things come from. Like, um, but ultimately, I think he's what like, really makes him work. Like his work uh, so good, I think, is. His characters, uh, he's, it's, he's so uh, detailed in describing people, and then horrible things happen to these people. Um, that is ultimately what is terrifying. So you get to know these people, and you recognize these people, and, and maybe yourself, or people that you know, or people that you've met. And, and you know, the, and he's, he's very tuned to the, the mind, the little detail things, and quirks that everyday people have, and, and then sets that up, and then something ter terrible happens to, to people. And I think that that is sort of truly why um, his work becomes so. Sort of horrific, um, and um, yeah, I think that's what the show is trying to do as well. Is sort of capturing that um, these true essence of, of of strong characters. Without it, I don't think any story works. What do you think it is about small town Maine that makes it such like an evocative setting for all these often different stories? Well, I mean, it's uh, he's from yeah, there, exactly. so so I think for him, he's. Uh, all these places are, I think, to a degree, somewhat based on Bangor, Maine, which is where he's from. Um, so I think it's just personal to Stephen King, and he's sort of set all these stories around a place that he knew, knows. Um, and then there's something about small towns that it's, it's you know, it's, it's a town like Castle Rock can be the entire town can be cursed. Same thing with Derry. It's like it's the town itself is, is such a big character in the story and, and uh, sort of these terrible things happen to people living in these places. So, people will know Shawshank from obviously the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, that will be a 
familiar setting or audiences, but do you think that the Shawshank that, that will be visited in Castle Rock is very different from the Shawshank, or there going to be similar, similarities? It's, it's definitely similarities. It's the same prison, um, so um, it is the same place. So the things, um, the things that have happened in Shawshank has happened in Shawshank. Um, so it's you know these settings are um, not meant to be separate but the, but the same. So um, the history of these places that we've seen in Stephen King's worlds and books um, are things that have that have actually happened in the Castle Rock universe as well. So um, um, and. Uh, and I'll tell you, like, we, we shot, uh, I'm not sure if I can even tell you what prison we used, sure but, you can. <laughs> but we, 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 we used this old prison for the interiors, and it's, uh, it was truly haunted, like, it was, they shut it down uh, 25 years ago, but it, it was built during the Civil War, and it was, it was just, uh, you walked around there, and, you know, inside of the cell, uh, this is the solitary wing. There's actually, you know, carvings and graffiti from the inmates that live there. And uh, just a horrific place. I mean, they had it open until 95, I think. And um, you walk in there, and it was built in the civil, during the Civil War, and it looks like it. Like you, it's unfathomable that someone could live there only 20 years ago because it was like it, it was there was no air conditioning, there was no nothing, right? Um, and it's just a truly haunted place, and it's, it, it, I think it will bring a lot to the show. And, and, and everything that I thought that Shawshank would be is sort of this place. So um, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see to see it. Uh, uh, to see it on screen. Thank you. We've got to move on. Thank you. Okay. Okay.